All right, today we're going to be solving a circuit, including a dependent source and determining the Thevenin equivalent circuit. All right, this is a typical problem you may encounter where you'd be asked to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit and also the available power of the circuit. So in order to determine the Thevenin equivalent of this circuit, we need to identify two of these three elements, where VTH is the Thevenin voltage, IN is the Norton current, and RTH is the equivalent resistance. So to solve for VTH, we would have to determine the open circuit current across nodes A and B, and that's equivalent to the Thevenin voltage. To determine the Norton current, we would have to uh, we have to determine the short circuit current across nodes A and B, and that would be equivalent to the Norton current. And to determine the equivalent resistance, there are two methods. The first one is source suppression, which includes deactivating all independent sources, which would be opening current sources and shorting voltage sources and determining the equivalent resistance of the circuit which would be equivalent to the Thevenin equivalent. And the other method would be the test signal method where we would send a 1 amp test signal into this circuit across nodes A and B. We would determine the voltage across this 1 amp test signal and the equivalent resistance would be equal to the voltage across this test signal divided by one amp, the one amp test signal. So in this problem, we're going to solve for the Norton current, and we're going to solve for the equivalent resistance by the test signal method. All right, so here we're going to, here is where we use the test signal method. And as you can see, I've sent a one amp test signal into the circuit and we want to solve for the voltage across this test signal such that the equivalent resistance is equal to the voltage across this test signal divided by the 1 amp current. So we're going to solve this circuit. Well, first off, we need to deactivate the independent sources. So as you can see, we have a current source right here. So we need to open this current source so no current, so no current um, flows through here. So we're going to solve the circuit by nodal analysis, and we are going to start at the node VT. So we're going to define, I'm going to define my currents in these directions. And Vx minus VT plus negative two Vx plus 1 equals 0 because they are, all three currents are going into the node. I'm going to simplify. And finally get Vx equals 1 minus Vt. Now I'm going to move over to the Vx node. And I'm also going to, and I'm also going to use nodal analysis. So we get Vx over one ohm plus Vx minus Vt over one ohm equals zero. Because both currents are leaving the node. So they're on the same side of the equation. I'm going to simplify this. And I'm going to substitute my definition of Vx into this equation to solve for Vt. After a little bit more algebra, uh, we determine that Vt is equivalent to 2 thirds, therefore the Thevenin resistance is equals two thirds 
over 1 amp, so we get 2 thirds ohm. Alright, and now we're going to solve for the Norton current. And as you can see, I've short circuited nodes A and B, and I want to solve for the current that flows right here. So, I'm also going to use nodal analysis, and I'm going to start at VT node. So, we get negative 2 Vx plus Vx over 1 equals In. And I didn't include Vx minus Vt because Vt is equivalent to 0 because it has been short circuited. So there's a 0 voltage here. And I'm now I'm going to go over to this node sorry I forgot to define my currents and now with the, our currents defined we have 2 equivalent to Vx over 1 plus Vx over 1 which gives us 2 equals 2 Vx and Vx equals 1 substituting into this equation We get negative 2 plus 1 equals IN. IN equals negative YN. Now that we have two of the three elements of the north of the of the Thevenin circuit, we can determine the equivalent, the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So we have Seven in resistance is two thirds ohms. We have the Norton current, negative one amp, and using Ohm's law, we can determine the seven in voltage. It's equivalent to the product of these two elements, and we get negative two thirds volts. So now we can draw an equivalent circuit. And now we can determine the available power, where the definition of the available power is E Thevenin squared times R Thevenin divided by 2 R Thevenin squared, which simplifies to Thevenin squared. 1 over 4 R Thevenin. So all we need to do is substitute negative 2 thirds squared 1 over 4 2 thirds and this simplifies to 1 sixth watts.